Hi, I'm Dr. Arundhati, consultant dermatologist at Dr. Sculpt Aesthetic Clinics in Sarkarnagar and Indranagar, Bangalore. Since the pandemic began, dermatologists have been seeing an alarming trend in patients coming to us with severe hair loss. Of course, a bunch of these cases can be attributed to post-COVID hair loss, that is, hair loss happening after COVID infection. But in a number of these patients, don't even have history of COVID infection. Dermatologists are attributing this hair loss to maybe the stressful situations that we live in. You know, the isolation, illness in loved ones and maybe loss of loved ones and a lot of stressful situation connected to the pandemic might be contributing to the hair loss. This kind of hair loss that happens due to physical or mental stressors is called telogen effluvium. So the physical stressors can be a recent surgery, it can be nutrient deficiencies, it can be hormone issues such as thyroid issues and other factors. So this normally when some a patient comes to me with short term hair loss uh, which is telogen effluvium, I don't directly suggest any clinical treatments to them. I start with investigating. So I run some basic blood tests to figure out if they have any nutrient deficiencies or thyroid issues and I start them on some serums containing botanicals and few supplements to aid in hair regrowth. But there are also some patients who come to me who have tried these things in the past and nothing seems to be working and they have had long standing hair loss and some hair thinning and they are very distressed by it. In these patients, I have been doing growth factor concentrate treatment and it has been giving me great results. So, growth factor concentrate treatment is the second generation or next generation PRP treatment. PRP itself stands for platelet rich plasma. So, how do we do this treatment? So, these platelets that we use in the treatment are derived from the patient's own blood. So, uh, we separate out the other cells except for platelets from the patient's blood. The clear plasma containing the platelets is then used to treat the hair. The platelets contain what are called growth factors which stimulate hair regrowth and help in increasing the density and reducing hair fall in these patients. So earlier what we were doing is we were just separating out the platelets and we were injecting it into the patient's scalp. Now we are activating the platelets before we inject it. So what is the advantage of this? Activation prior to injection gives us a better concentrate of growth factors and we have been seeing more efficient results, more effective results in fewer sessions in our patients. So this activated platelets treatment is called growth factor concentrate treatment. So GFC in addition to being slightly more efficient than PRP and taking fewer sessions to give us results, is also low on the pain factor. So we have noticed that our patients experience lesser discomfort with GFC and can take the sessions more comfortably as compared to PRP treatment. GFC and also PRP treatment are used in the treatment of pattern hair loss. Pattern hair loss can happen in both men and women where there is, there is thinning of hair in a certain pattern on the scalp, mostly in the top part of your hair. Okay? So this is a progressive hair loss pattern which leads to thinning and gradual loss of hair over the years. So both factor phosphate and PRP are great treatments to improve the density of hair and also to control the hair loss in these patients. So for short term hair loss or telogen effluvium that's not responding to medical management, I usually advise about 3 sessions of GFC. Uh, for pattern hair loss, depending upon the level of thinning, they can take anywhere between 4 to 6 and initial sessions of growth factor concentrate treatment. I also advise those with pattern hair loss to seek a follow up treatment, maybe one single session of GFC every 6 months to 1 year to maintain the results of the treatment. Of course, this has to be accompanied by a regular application of phenoxyl and other hair care products by the patient at home.